Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Hi Spirit, <laughs> please make me a clear channel for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer. So there is a good amount of heart healing that's going on for you. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 
Hey, um, all right. Shit, okay. <laughs> what I was going to say is you have a bunch of heart healing that's happening this month. Um, you could be kind of in a bit of cocoon, maybe in your in your shell a little bit. I'm seeing orange. I'm sorry. I'm seeing green and I'm seeing white, but I'm also seeing orange. So there's a lot of emotional stuff going on here. Now, you have some flyers, as you can tell. Um, Leo is here with strength in reverse. Um, then you have the Knight of Pentacles, and you have the Sun just that came out in the reverse here. I, I'm feeling like some of you feel like a lack of faith, um, a lack of self belief. There's some fear going on. There's some uh, fears, feelings of inadequacy. Someone may want to make some sort of stable offer to someone else, but they don't. They're kind of lacking in the self confidence to do so. They're thinking that things will, will not go well, but the sun in reverse is saying, the sun is still shining here. Even though it's in reverse, it's saying it's actually, things are much better than you think. And if someone is in, has the desire to make some sort of offer here, you might just want to go ahead and do it. Don't let your fear get you down, okay? Don't let fears of inadequacy get you down even, okay? All right, so let's... Let's, let's begin, <laughs> shall we? Here we go, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer. But yeah, there's some healing that's happening. I'm just going to get to the cards here. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Boop. All right, Cancer. Let's see what we've got for you. Overall energy here is the Ten of Wands. All right. So you're probably feeling pretty burdened by something right now. And as a Cancer, like these burdens, man, these do not feel good. These do not feel good. I feel like many of you have taken on these burdens of like your family and friends and whatnot, maybe even business wise. Um, just you know, being the loving and caring person you're, that you are, but then that's leaving you with very little for yourself here. There are, there are some things that you have been carrying cancer that you have just got to let go of. You've got the, uh, you've got the hanged man in reverse, not in reverse. The hanged man is up right here. This could be Pisces energy. There could be Pisces in your chart. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But what I feel like is happening here is these burdens that you've been carrying for a long time have put you in a precarious position, and now you're beginning to see things differently, okay? You're you're kind of, and this is enlightenment, I just heard. This is kind of like your awakening here. And you've got temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We are in Sagittarius season as of the, as of the time that this reading is being recorded. Um, but temperance is balance, patience, alchemy, bringing two opposing sides together and finding a balance here, alchemizing a brand new compound. And you've got the magician. All right, Cancer. So I really feel like you're in the process right now this month where you're really letting go of some serious burdens, some things that you have been potentially wanting to be let, wanting to have let go of for a very long time. And you learn from it now. You've gained some sort of enlightenment, and now you get to manifest what it is you truly desire, Cancer. That's fantastic. Let's get into your first set of energies here. First set of surrounding energies for your first row. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. So you're very hard at work. That's a good thing. You're probably really focused on your work right now, really focused on your finances, and potentially really focused on you, okay? Um, doing what it is is best for you, getting your life in order, that kind of thing. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Wands. Excellent. So self-discovery here. Um, this is definitely you doing work on yourself, building up your own empire, building up your own life, maybe changing some elements to your life, maybe releasing some of these burdens has freed you up to make some sort of repairs in your life, has freed you up to have the time to really go on a self-discovery journey. But this is something that you're really inspired about, too. You could be embarking on a brand new project. That's an excellent thing. And you're really putting forth the effort to get that off the ground. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. We've got, ooh, this could be you. This is the King of Cups. This also, this officially represents Scorpio. Um, but it could be another water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, 
you know what this is getting what i'm getting here is the more you do work on yourself the more attractive you become and i really feel like there's someone that's out there already that may have got their eye on you and may really want to come forward now this is someone what came out in the flyers no, i can't i can't even remember it was the sun in reverse and the other ones. Oh, goodness. I can't remember. Anyway, I mean, I, I'm i in the process of recording this, so I can't, like, rewind. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is emotional maturity also. You really could be going through a process, Cancer, where you're really doing some work to, to step it up emotionally to be more emotionally available, to be more emotionally secure. King of Cups is coupled with the Four of Swords. All right. So, there. yeah, this is definitely an energy of taking your time to kind of master your emotions and become a little more emotionally available, emotionally mature. Um, and this also could be someone that has, that someone may have their eye on you, but they are, like someone may very well be in love with you or have some very deep feelings for you, but they're going through their own um, healing time as well. Maybe their own time of self-discovery. But um, the more, I, I really feel like the more you heal and the more you do your own work on yourself, the more this person falls deeper in love with you potentially. Okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you've got the Ace of Swords, realizations, okay? Um, aha moments, epiphanies, the truth, seeing something clearly. The challenge might be to see something clearly. Or the challenge could be you have come to terms with something and now you have to figure out what to do with it because the truth has been revealed to you. And you kind of can't go back from there. <laughs> Ace of Swords is coupled with... The Two of Wands, yeah. Something has been realized. Some Something has been seen and understood. There has been an aha moment, and now there is a decision that needs to be made. And this is not something that you can just forget about and move on. Like, this is something that you can't unsee. You can't unknow. And so it would be foolish of you to not make a, a choice in this decision. You almost can't not make a, just a choice here, okay? Yeah, that seems pretty challenging. But I have a feeling it's going to work out for your highest good anyway. Your final message or the potential outcome here for you in your first row, you've got the Queen of Cups. So we've got the counterparts here. We've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. This would be you officially, Cancer. This is your, other than the Chariot, This the Queen of Cups does represent you. All right, we have the counterparts. I feel like somebody recognizes someone else as their counterpart. And now they have to make a decision. I really feel like it's this King of Cups that recognizes this, this Queen of Cups, their counterpart here. Very interesting. And now there's a decision that needs to be made because this realization can't, unbe can't be unseen. Queen of Cups is coupled with... Huh? <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. This is what came out. This came out with the... Wow. Wowie, wow, wow, Cancer. It's interesting because what I'm seeing here for some for some of you in this dynamic, the King of Cups can represent the Sun in Cancer. The Queen of Cups can represent the Moon in Cancer. That's just what I'm picking up here. It doesn't have to be that way. But I really feel like someone is going to be making an offer to this counterpart, to this Queen of Cups at some point. That could be what the decision is. Or the decision could be being made as to how to make this offer. Again, we had someone with the Knight of Pentacles, or not, not the Knight, the Page of Pentacles, the Sun, and then what was the other card? I can't remember the other card now, but... Oh, Strength. It was Strength in Reverse. Someone wants to make an offer to somebody, but they feel like they can't. And it's like, it's like you or they have been watching... With the King of Cups and the Four of Swords, but they've in their been they've been in their own sort of healing restful period. Okay, 
and they've probably had some sort of epiphany. It could be maybe they were having to choose between two people. And the truth has been finally seen and now there's a choice that's being made. And it could be that the choice is being made to this counterpart here, this Queen of Cups. Now this also could be Cancer's son, right? Because this is this is the official Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is the official card for Cancer other than the Chariot. Um, but also the Queen of Cups can symbolize another water sign. Doesn't have to be though, all right? It's just someone that's very emotionally balanced, secure, in control of their emotions. But what I'm seeing, I'm seeing this for this reading specifically, I'm seeing this more as the counterpart. The moon to someone's sun. So that's why I'm saying this king of cups could be someone with the sun in cancer. And this queen of cups could be someone with the moon in cancer. Okay. But again, it doesn't have to be that way. This is a general reading, guys. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But that's really interesting. Okay. Second set of energies for your month of December. First set of surrounding energies for the second row. You've got <laughs> the ace of wands. Inspiration. Desire, passion, sexuality, um, especially especially in the light of someone doing some self-discovery here and some work on themselves or work towards some, some sort of career aspect, something that is really passionate, that they are really passionate about, feeling really inspired towards. Well, here you have the Ace of Wands, which is that impetus to get started. Great. Don't mind me, I'm being silly, but it's that it's that inspiration, that drive just like to get started on something, okay? This could be a resurgence of passion for someone or something, something like that. Ace of Wands is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. But there's juggling here. There's balance that needs to be in place. I feel like Cancer, you could be inspired to do a bunch of a bunch of things in your life. And you're needing to balance things out in order to really handle things well, or you're needing to balance out your life more in order to take up this opportunity, this fresh new start that you are feeling, that you're inspired towards. Now, this could also be needing to not get caught up in the lust, the passion, the fire of a new ignition. Does that make sense? Like something new sparks and it lights you up inside, but you're having to ma maintain your balance. Like don't go too crazy with it. Okay? Because it's really just a beginning. You don't know where it's going to happen. Now, I don't want to deter anybody. That doesn't mean it can't be turned into something really great, but just don't get, don't rush in. Don't get caught up in the moment. See the bigger picture. Maintain your balance, especially with this Ten of Wands here. I feel like many of you are coming out of a Ten of Wands situation, and so you don't want to just like fall right into another one, that kind of situation, right? Interesting. Um, I was just looking here in the challenge for the first section of the reading. You have the Ace of Swords with the Two of Wands. And now that that Two of Wands, I feel like the, the, the decision has been made, or at least there's sufficient evidence to make the decision. Now you're back to the Ace of Wands because you've chosen one. That's really cool. Second set of current uh, surrounding energies for this second row. You, <laughs> There's the sun again. Some of you are really afraid that a chance has been lost. You've made a big mistake this, that, and the other thing, but the sun has come out twice and it came out upright this time. Everything is going to be a-okay. You did not make the wrong decision, Cancer. The sun is coupled with, ooh, the seven of cups. Now, illusion is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm, I'm really getting that there's some sort of, the, the sun is, is illuminating the illusions around you, is helping you cut away the fat to get down to the meat of the situation, is helping you see past all of the false offers, the false realities to get you to see what the real truth is. Some of you may have a lot of options and you know, maybe romantically, business, financially, some business-wise, whatever. And 
You know, you, you might have a bunch of people coming at you right now trying to make you an offer, but the sun is here to help you illuminate that one offer that would be best for you, okay? Your challenge in this second row here, you've got the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Also drowning the sorrows, maybe. But the challenge is knowing that you have wish fulfillment and allowing it to come through. Or the challenge is believing that your wishes and your desires, your dreams will be fulfilled. Especially in light of the, the sun coming out twice the first time it came out in the reverse. Also, the page of pentacles came out twice. So someone wants to make some sort of solid offer. But you see, this is... This is not an this is an offer from a page though. I mean maybe it's an offer maybe it's a situation in which someone wants to start over from the ground up. But if someone wants to offer something I mm, That's interesting. Okay. The Knight of Cups is coupled with Oof. I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups is coupled with the Page of Swords. It's almost as if you feel like this wish fulfillment is so far off in the distance that you can't really see it coming. It's like you're lurking, you're searching, you're searching, you're searching, you're searching. Stop searching. Stop searching and let it come to you, Cancer. Yeah? Your wish fulfillment is on the horizon. You don't have to search for it. Just let the universe bring it to you. The final message or potential outcome here for your second row for December, you've got, oof, the Four of Cups. A missed opportunity, unrequited love, someone not accepting the offer. Four of Cups coupled with, wow, the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Maybe someone doesn't see the long-term benefits of the situation. Maybe someone doesn't see that there is a long-term future here. Or someone is not willing to put in the effort or the investment towards the long-term. This could just also, also, especially with the Seven of Cups here on the Sun, this could be someone not taking any sort of offers that would that couldn't potentially turn into a, a, a stable family, a, a bu stable business environment. And now I'm getting something more here. This would be uh, not not taking part in any sort of offers or situations that would not help your long-term abundance. Also, with the Queen of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles, someone could be embarking on a brand new financial venture. Okay? Starting a new job. Taking a new job offer of some sort. Something like that. But you're definitely manifesting something new here, Cancer. And that's a, that's a really good thing. All right. Let's see what's in the Oracle cards for you, Cancer, for your month of December 2018. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December Ooh. 2018. Let's see what we've got for you, Cancer. Best message, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ooh, we've got two of them. All right. We've got possibility and we've got nature. All right. Possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. And now that falls right in line with this here, Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. If something can't really give work towards the longevity of the situation, you don't, the, 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 the long-term investment, then you don't want to really give. You don't want to accept the offer. 
And that makes perfect sense. And then finally, you have nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. I know it's pretty cold here in the Northeast right now in the United States, but if you can find some time to connect with nature, maybe just like gardening, maybe, you know, taking care of some house plants, bringing in some house, uh, bringing in some new foliage into your environment. But nature is really going to help you stay grounded and secure and firm in your manifestations. Yes. All right, Cancer, there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I am available for private readings. I won't be doing as many as I normally would throughout the month because I'm just trying to take it a bit easy this month. Um, but I am available. All of the uh, readings that I offer are in the description box below as well as my email address. If you can't decide which reading to go with, I would say just email me. We'll chat about your situation a little bit and I'll help you pick out the best reading. Yeah? All right, Cancer. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much love to you guys. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.